Good morning, it is 9 a.m. and I just arrived in Long Beach to take the ferry to Catalina. Let's go. in at my hotel which is Hotel Catalina and they are a great option if you're looking to save a little money I think they're a three three star hotel and they're really central right downtown um, it's about $75 a night and I purchased a package where I got a boat ride as well two nights and a round trip boat ride for $220 so not bad at all highly recommend if you're looking to save some dough and stay in a nice cute location. Now I'm off to get some food because I'm so freaking hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to this place that supposedly is a well-kept secret here on the island. It's called the Sand Trap, so we will see. I'm gonna get some tacos and some beer and I will report back. Just had lunch at the sand trap and that was amazing it's probably the only place in catalina where you can get two giant tacos and two beers for 15 dollars. and that wasn't even happy hour during happy hour they have one dollar tacos so we might be back I'm now headed up to go check out the Wrigley Gardens. Lots of golf carts around. Um, it's a bit of a trek if you're not crazy into walking. It's like two miles each way. But we're gonna walk it today, okay? Absolutely gorgeous golf course on the island. If I actually golfed, I would go here. So I believe this is the school on the island, the only one, and I hear it's K through 12. Um, and there's like 700 kids who go here from all those grade levels. So each graduating class is like 50 or something. Um, but here it is. It's very small. <laughs> um, and that's the local school. This is so freaking cool. I haven't felt like I'm completely alone in a long time. Um, cause I live in LA where there's a lot of people, but here, wherever the heck I am, there is nobody and it's beautiful and amazing. And there's the mountains. Hey, pure bliss, my friends, pure bliss. That's where we're hiking to. Almost there. Wrigley Memorial and Botanical Gardens and it is so pretty you guys oh my god gorgeous views and this gorgeous memorial for Mr. Wrigley um, it's so pretty and serene and quiet and I don't know if it's like this all the time but I'm here in the off season on a Wednesday and there's nobody else here it's amazing and so peaceful and I would highly recommend coming here if you're visiting Catalina. And there is whoop, 
the casino. It's not actually a casino. It's just like a theater hall and a place for events and things like that. But it's so pretty and definitely a landmark of Catalina. Next I'm at the Blue Water Avalon for some appetizers and a glass of wine. Good morning, I am headed to the local coffee shop that's open bright and early to get some work done. Um, I went to bed at like 7.30 p.m. last night, so I'm up with the sun, ready to get the day going. So I just got back to the hotel from doing some work at the coffee shop and I'm going to just get my stuff together and get ready for my next adventure which is called the East End Adventure. I'm going to ride in a four-wheeler all around um, the East End of Catalina. It's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna see some freaking bison. Here we go. Beautiful desert island. I'm going to point out a few things on the way and I'm going to tell you a little history about the diamond water. I'll be honest, but still enjoying the sunset views. I'm gonna try to find dinner somewhere soon, but enjoying the last bits of daylight I have here in Catalina. this morning. It is 6 a.m. in Catalina, day three, and I'm very sad today's the day that I head home, but I'm going to enjoy my last few hours here. Enjoy as many as I can. That's why I got up so early. Woo. And because this place is just gorgeous early in the morning. to make hotel coffee is to mix the hot cocoa mix with black coffee. Mm. Having breakfast at Jack's Country Kitchen. Mm. Just made it back home after what was one of the most amazing trips ever. It took an hour on the ferry and then an hour and a half car ride to get back home. Um, but we are here and taking all the memories home with me. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.